We know that family is at a crossroads worldwide in so many of our cultures and countries. We know that we have to look for opportunities where different communities intersect, where things come together, where there's an opportunity to use our combined perspectives and the variety that each of them bring to strengthen the whole, to produce synergy, as Bob described. And so over the past few months, as the Selection Committee for the World Congress of Families has met and considered proposals, revised, reviewed, extended challenges, worked on things to refine them, it's been the decision of the Selection Committee to award the bid for World Congress of Families 10 to a nation that is at the crossroads of the world, a melting pot of civilizations high in the Caucasus, World Congress of Families 10 will be held next May in Tbilisi, Georgia. We welcome to the stage to accept the, this decision, Mr. Levan Vasaj, with the flag of his nation. Please join me in congratulating the Republic of Georgia. Thank you. We are overwhelmed, excited, and stunned with this honor and privilege. Um, being a representative of one of the oldest Christian countries in the world, this Congress next spring will be extremely refreshing for my fellow Georgians, because up until now, most people in Georgia believe that every Westerner who comes to Tbilisi works for George Soros. And we would like to show them otherwise. Um, we have a presentation that we will share in uh, next session. But let me share with you, it's very hard to present your country with your own words. And I looked up some of the American classics who spoke of Georgia with so much admiration and love. And the classic of American literature, uh, John Steinbeck, writes that wherever he has been in Russia, the magical name of Georgia came up constantly. People who had never been there and who possibly could never go there spoke of Georgia with a kind of longing and great admiration. They spoke of Georgians as supermen, great drinkers, dancers, musicians, workers, and lovers. And they spoke of the country in the Caucasus and around the Black Sea as a kind of second heaven. Indeed, we began to believe that most Russians hope that if they live very good and virtuous, virtuous lives, they will go not to heaven but to Georgia when they die. <laughs> I will flip and ignore my entire presentation and perhaps give it in one of the later um, sessions, but I would like to add to end with this Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize winning genius American writer who, who says, after he travels to Georgia, he says, it is a magical place, Georgia, and it becomes dreamlike the moment you have left it, and the people are magic people. It is true that they have one of the richest and most beautiful countries in the world, and they live up to it. And we understood thoroughly now why the Russians had always said to us, until you have seen Georgia, you have seen nothing. So come to Georgia next year.